Whoa, damn, this is really cool and you can make this in a few minutes. Let me show you how and how fun it is to create this project in After Effects. Hello, let's make this amazing tutorial today just because I like you and you deserve it. So I'll create a new composition, HD size, 30 frames, 3 seconds of duration, this should be enough. Then I'll go straight ahead and right click, click new and add a new shape layer. We'll have to do three things. We'll have to add an object to the shape layer, we'll have to keyframe it and we'll have to add the repeater to it in order to make this all work. So at first you can open up the shape layer, you can click on add and you can decide if you want an ellipse or a rectangle or something else. Let's go firstly with the ellipse. Once we have the ellipse, it should also be visible so we also would like to add some fill. So click on add and add the fill. Okay, we have the perfect circle ellipse in the middle. Now, once we have the ellipse path opened, I will both work with the size and with the position. That's why I click on the keyframes right at the beginning. At the beginning, I would like the size to be zero. Then at one second, or depending on how long my animation should be, this is where you should place your playhead, I'll make the size again zero, that's why I add a new keyframe, and the position should be to about negative 400, because this will place the circle here. So let's go negative 400, and we only need one last keyframe. Go to the middle of this animation, in my case this will be 15 frames, so I'll go to 15 frames, I will unlink the size, and I'll make this object a bit bigger. So let's make it for example like that, or it can be rounded, it doesn't really matter at this point, you just should see it. So this is the initial animation, boom. Really really boring, but that's what we wanted to achieve. We'll fine tune this in a moment. So we have the first step done, we added the shape layer and the circles. We have the second step done, we've added the keyframes. Now the last thing we need to do is add the repeater, because we want more of them to come around here to create the accent graphics. So please click on add and add the repeater. On the repeater, on the repeater, we only need to change three things. Go inside the repeater and make the copies to for example 8 or 12, this is your choice. Then you will need to open the transform repeater options, click on position and set the position to zero. Because we do not want them to be spread out like this, we want them all to start from this position and be rotated around the circle. Now as I go to rotation, look what happens if I work with the rotation. You kinda see where this is going. So let's hit at the rotation 0. Now you need to left alt or option if you are on a Mac, click on the rotation, because you want the rotation and this is a very simple expression, you only need to write 360 divided by, and you don't write anything here, you just take this snail, this pick whip, it's called a pick whip, and with this pick whip I can select any property I want. And I'll of course select my copies, because I always want 360 to be divided by the amount of copies. Now no matter how much copies I set, it will be always perfectly and equally divided around here. This is 8 copies, I'm at 15 frames and I'll also set a keyframe here. Now I can click on this shape layer and press U on my keyboard and I have everything I need. I have the animation and I have the repeater copies here. This is my first circle accent. To make the animation a bit more interesting, you can always take the first keyframes, the size keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease them. Once they are eased, you can go to the graph editor, you can select the keyframes and work a little bit with them. For example, like that. Let me select the middle one, like that. I'll select those options, maybe place the keyframe here, Let's see what motion did we achieve. Okay, the motion is a bit too slow at the beginning. Let me make it a bit quicker. Boom. Like this, will this be okay? Let's preview it. Okay, this is kind of the motion I wanted to achieve. If you would like this to be quicker, you can select the keyframes and simply place them closer to 10 frames and here to 20 frames. Okay, let me do this. So I have my first initial animation and now depending on how I change this middle keyframe, I will create different motions. So I can duplicate, offset by a few frames, press U 
and change this one keyframe in the middle. For example, to have more circles like that. Now let's preview the animation, what I would have, boom. And you have a very simple accent. Now, no matter how many times you copy this, let me get closer to see how many frames I'm offsetting this by. Four frames, eight frames, 12 frames. Let's do it, 12. Let's press U on both of them and we can always select this keyframe and for example, let's make something like that and more narrow. Okay, this is too long. Something like this. Now the last keyframe, again, maybe circles. We have the size and I can work as long as I want with this. Let's preview the animation that I did create right now. Boom, perfect. And I can, for example, set another colors for that and we have a really cool accent graphics created in a matter of minutes. I have some colors under my screen. Let me close everything down. Right click, new, new solid layer. Okay, the solid, let me select a background. The background goes in here. Now I will select the first, the fill, and I will select my second color. Really great accent graphics made in a matter of minutes. This is it for this accent graphic tutorial. So hey, if you learned something, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and check my YouTube channel out. In the description, you have also links to my After Effects courses if you would like to continue learning After Effects with me. For now, I'm signing out. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you did learn something cool in this tutorial. Thank you.